There you go. Now we're finding some money. Let's go take the quick way up. What's up all, Halcon here with episode 4 of our season 2 Savage Wilds playthrough. Today, our goals are to build a furniture maker, build a vanity from the Ember Light mod, try to build two wayfinders from the wayfinder mod, if we have the resources, level our greater dog Sigrid, and ourselves of course, collect some coins for purchasing a thrall, and if time permits, we'll try to actually buy a thrall, and maybe we'll have time to find them out. I'd also like to remind you that we stream six days a week at twitch.tv slash halcon. So let's get started. We've got a lot to do. First thing we're going to do is we're going to try to build a furniture maker. I don't actually think I have this feat yet. Let's go check. I did manage to collect a little bit of resources, and I also have to show you our new crocodile. The crocodile's done, the, the, and the and the dog is 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 mostly done. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna try to make a furniture maker. All right, um, that's this right here. It's gonna cost us one point to unlock it. Okay, okay, great. So that's done. Um, the next thing we want to do is we want to try to build this table. Uh, so what does it take to make furniture maker table? Let's see. Well, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Where are you? It's not the Thrall Outfitter bench. It could be that one. Sure, we'll build that one. We need 40 wood. Do we have 40 wood? Don't know. I threw some more resources in here. Yeah, we have 40 wood. Look at that. Let's go ahead and build this. We're going to build in the median one. And we have access to all of them that we took now that we've taken it with all of the different uh, DLCs. Okay, let's do that. We'll craft it. It'll be done in a second. I wanted to show you our crocodile. Here he is right there. Okay, he does not yet have a name. He is crocodile. I have given him, I've gotten him four levels and I've started throwing on extra stuff that I've been collecting that could spoil. These heads are, are not going to spoil, but we have those just in case. And we also have our dog in here. It is the playful pup. Almost done, and the name of the dog when it's done is going to be Sigrid. So there you go. Uh, there's really no room to put this table in here. Uh, if I put it there, it'll block the door. So we're just going to stick it down here, and it'll be fine. It will be fine. We'll eventually move it to our new place, and there you go. So the reason I wanted to build this is because I wanted to build this vanity. I need four shaped wood, and we need to go collect some wood. I did manage to collect a little bit more iron. Uh, it is cooking. And we are also getting some brick. Uh, I started making a little bit of brick because I think I need it for my my uh, way, my way stones, which are basically going to be for teleportation purposes. It's a mod we've added to make running around a little shorter. Table here. We'll throw in half of this wood. And how many can you make? You're going to make that many? Make that many. All right. We're going to keep the rest of this wood over here. And the sticks. Uh, rotten meat. We're, you know, we should actually, we're not going to bother. All right. You know, that reminds me. When we build our new base, we should probably build someplace close to water. That is a big deal. And I'm going to take all these vines I get. I'm just going to keep converting them into twine. That's absolutely necessary. Okay. Um, do we have... I think it was four. Do we have? We have a lot. All right. So we're now going to create this vanity. Why are you creating a vanity? Let me tell you why we're going to create a vanity. We're not going to do it here. We're going to do it in here. The reason I create a vanity so I can start modifying my character a little bit. The reason is there's reasons. Okay. Um, I don't like the hairstyle option that I have right now. It's okay. It's it's okay. It's not what I had envisioned. Uh, and I knew that when I built the character and decided to take that hairstyle, that I would eventually be making this vanity and we would be changing it. And uh, there you go. It's a cute little table uh, from Emberlight Mod. 
and you go into it and it allows you to modify your character. One of the best things to do that I wanted it for is the hairline. So you can change the hairline of your character and that's really all we're going to do. And then we're going to apply changes. Now when we leave, the hairline is fixed. Very good. Now, okay, that was an easy task. We built the furniture maker and we built a vanity. Now let's see, what do we need to make this, these, these new waystone things, right? We go to feats, um, and we type in way, W E Y, no, W A Y, W A Y. Here it is right here. It's going to cost us three points. You've got to be level 20. I'm going to go ahead and unlock it. Uh, it's made in the artisan work table or a furniture maker. I have no idea what it's going to, what it's going to take to make it. It's going to take, oh, so this may be a little bit further away. Like I said, this, we were going to make it resources permitting. And we may, get, we may still get these today. 50 hardened brick. Yeah, in order for us to do that, we're going to have to make, we're going to have to go into alchemy. And then 20, uh, we're going to need to make two of these, right? So we're going to need 100 of that, 40 of those, and four demon blood. Where are we going to get demon blood? Well, I know where we can get demon blood. We're not really high enough level to go there yet. So we may have to come back to that one later today in this episode, or maybe we will have to schedule that for a future one. Is our dog ready yet? Oh, so close. It is so close. Okay. So one of the things we're going to do also is we're going to collect some coins for purchasing a thrall. How are we going to do that? Well, I happen to know that... Out in this area out here, there's a bunch of like buildings and stuff underwater. And I also happen to know that um, with that, there are boxes down there with money in them. Okay, there's an item that we can get to make our life easier. Where's it at from here? It's right here. It's right there. This is the spot where we were going to go. If I do that, okay, let's do that. It's going to be dark soon. You can see the sun starting to set. That spot has a mask in it, a water breathing mask. It doesn't actually let you breathe water. It extends the amount of time you can hold your breath underwater. I believe it spawns on the table 100%. You can see the sail or the, the ship stuff going on over there. That's where we're headed. Leave me alone, dude. It's a long way to run in there. Can I go this way? Yeah, I already got people shooting arrows at us. It's right there on the table. Should be right here. No. Okay, it's not there. It's not there. Oh no, what do I do now? All right, we're just, I think we're just gonna leave. Okay, so I'm pretty sure that's the table that it spawns on. And as far as I know, it was always 100%. Now we haven't played on this map in a while. That's true. Um, how long is a while? I don't know, maybe four months. And I know there was an update that came out. It could have been changed. However, didn't expect that. I expected it to be there, and it's not. So we'll have to go back there with a with our new dog eventually when Sigrid has enough health, and we will fix that problem. We will clear out the camp and see if it got moved to another spot or if it's just no longer there. Okay, so we're going to try to do this where we're going to dive underwater and try to see if we can't locate some some chests down here. Uh, actually, when you go underwater, you actually get a little bit brighter, which is it's a little odd. It should actually even get darker. But that's okay. The chests are not easy to see anyway. And we really need to go fast to see what we can find. I don't know where these chests are. I just know that we've talked about them and we've seen them. It's probably a dungeon down here for all I know. If you go onto these, I think it's a way for you to get exited quickly out of the water in case you're running out of air. There are these geysers and you don't typically take damage from those. Hard to see in the dark, it's just how it is. Take the quick exit again. It is kind of fun, and it, luckily for us, it puts us all the way back down to the bottom, so we save time for diving. It'll be daylight soon.
I think there's a chest right there. We got eight pearls. Here's another one. We got some scales. So you see why I wanted to grab that mask? and make this a lot easier. There we go. That helps. There you go. Now we're finding some money. Let's go take the quick way up. So those are the two we got. I'm trying to see if I missed any in the area. Maybe there's one back here. Let me go underneath. Cannot. More scales. A book. Okay, two-handed ep epic epic uh two-handed epic weapon use to learn that. We need to remember that. I didn't know that was there. Interesting. I like it. All right, let's try inside of these. Gold, gold and silver. We got a relic fragment. I didn't know there was a relic fragment in there. That's amazing. Scales. Gold. This is nice. We're making money. Now we needed, I think it was, uh, was it 800 or 400? It was 800 bronze, I think. And we said that was 200 gold. So we're getting close to that mark. Because we have some gold saved up already. Yeah, there's a lot of ruins here to explore. So the, the, the designers of this mod, I think they've done an excellent job at just making stuff, like, really interesting, right? We're going to take the quick way up. We'll come back down. Go right back this way. There's another chest. More scales. And we'll use that to go get our... More scales? I'm not sure what we can do with the scales yet. I think we need them in a recipe. Silver. Now, silver is worth more than bronze, too. So just when, just because we say we need 200 gold... Where is this at? Uh-oh. I think I blew it. Let me swim up as fast as I can. I waited a little too long. Um, just, because we, just because we say we need 200 gold, we don't actually need 200 gold. We need the equivalent of 200 gold in all of the bronze and the silver and the gold that we have. There's a chest right there. I don't think we've gotten that one yet. I've not been there. Let's go around this way. I'd like to look inside there, if that's even possible. Or on top. This, one of these could be a dungeon. Or it could just be a chest. With more silver in it. What do you think this is? This looks dangerous. Doesn't it? Okay, it's not dangerous. Some gold. Oh yeah. Some more gold. Some scales. I'm checking to see what else is around here. Pretty sure we've done this one. Pretty sure. We did. Okay. We may have missed uh, a lot. We may have missed a few, but regardless, we have a lot of cool stuff. We can go back to our base now. Let's 
Sigrid is ready. Look at that. Welcome, Sigrid. Dun dun dun. That's awesome. Look at what we collected. This is actually really cool. I mean, that's all like just loot loot. I know, right? Let's go over here. And let's open this up. I think that's what we want right there. All right? Put this on Sigrid. Oh, she wants human meat. Oh, well, until you get human meat, I guess you're going to use that. You ate one. What does that do to your stats? It gave you seven agility and seven strength percentage chances. Okay, well, we want to get you a vitality chance or a strength chance. So we'll work on that. How much health do you have? You have 2,000 right now. That's pretty good. All right, let's look and see how much money do we actually have. We may actually have to make a new table because we have a number of bars. So we have, so every, oh, the conversions. I don't remember the conversions. Let's go ahead and throw that in there. That our first fragment of power, pearls. So that's almost 100 gold, right? That is, I think that's uh, 2 to 1. So that's another 50 gold, and that's 4 to 1. Something like that. But we need to make coins out of these, right? So I think we're going to need to make a uh, coin-making table. Uh, I forget what it's called. This is what we need to learn. And we make the casting table. So well, how many points is that? That's one point. All right, we're going to unlock that. Now we can make a casting table, which we will put outside. So what we decided to do, instead of going out and taming... We were just going to go try to purchase them, at least our first couple. And then uh, I don't think you can purchase names in that way, name, name thralls. So what we'll do then is we'll just go out and we'll find them. So I need 25 and 100 wood. All right. And then we got to get some, get some human flesh. And we'll try to get Siegfried, uh, Sigrid a few, Sigrid, get Sigrid a few um, levels before we go over there. So maybe she'll have a little bit more health. Okay, so now what does that do for us? That gives us, well, we have enough of this. We needed the we needed the iron. We didn't really want to spend any iron making another table. But this is for science. So a casting table. It's only 25. Okay, that'll be ready in a second. We'll put that also out here. So we're going to place this down. It's a pretty fancy table. Fancy. All right. So in order to make gold coins, we have to have a coin mold. To make a coin mold, we need 15 more steel. Ouch. We have to get more steel. Or more, not steel, iron. 15 more iron. We're going to craft that. And that we really want this one. Skinning, we can just do more of. When we start killing humans, I want to get as much human meat as possible so we can uh, have that available for leveling our dog. Our dog is going to be our primary uh, follower for some time. Yeah. Uh, except in the case where maybe... Let's just do this. Make this six times. You get five each. Uh, while that's doing that... So here's what we're going to do. This is where we are. We're going to be heading here. We know we can get more coins right here. There's not a lot, though. Um, there's a shipwreck here, and there's a shipwreck here. And there's, a, there's another one there as well. We can check, and there's probably one out here, it looks like. We can check those shipwrecks to see if there's any other coins on our way around to here. So maybe that's what we'll do. All right, are you done yet? You are done. And those are going to be five each as well. So that puts us really close, right? What we need. Here we go. To the coins. Okay, we are coming up to our first ship. Looks like there's some cages down there. 
So maybe if there's cages, there's something else down here. Let's find out. I don't think I've ever been to this shipwreck because I've never seen a ship with cages before. But look what we found. Come on, gold pieces. Got nine more gold pieces. Thought I saw something floating in there. It's a skeleton. It's interesting. There's another couple of... Was anything in these things? Nope. But this is something. More coins. I see another chest there. We'll go back for that as soon as we get some air. The fish are checking me out. Okay. So we're going to try to grab this chest. I think that's all I see, but we'll give it a little quick once it's over again. All right, there's a bunch of boxes back here. Look, there's a book. Cargo manifest. Okay, that's interesting. All right, I don't see any more chests. That was pretty good. And we got five more silver bars on top of it. Okay, let's see what this next ship has to offer. I don't see anything that standing out right now that's like, oh, look at that. I don't see that anywhere. We are out of stamina. Um... This ship doesn't seem to have anything to offer. Okay, looking at the map. Let's see, we did this ship, we did this ship. So we're going to go out and try to do this ship over here. And then we should, I think we have enough already. But I think what we're going to find, we may find some more there. If we do, great. Okay, we're closing in on the first ship. So, we're going to dive down here. It's getting starting to get dark again. Let's see if we can find something. There is definitely a chest here. More coins. Nice. All I see in that ship, there's like some ribs of a ship or a monster over there. We'll check that out here. We're getting close to the edge of the map, I think. I don't think we can go much further that direction from here. All right, we have a, a little bit more to check out, then we'll go. Ch then we'll see if we have enough to get this thrall. We didn't get to check out this end of the ship very well. There's one. Nice. I think we have enough to buy a thrall, and I believe if it's still there, I don't know if they cycle out or not. I think we're going to get the Relic Hunter, because it's as equivalent to a named. That'll be a big deal. Alright. That's where we're going, right there. I would say that this has been a very lucrative venture. I think it's great that we have something that we can actually spend money on and it's worth doing. I think that that's great. Do I have my dog? I do. Sigrid is still here. Pirate Queen. That's what we need 100 pearls for. Don't have 100 pearls yet. Uh, that's that guy. This is one of these two. There we go. This is the person. Zane? Zine? Ziana? You buying? I have enough. This is what I have. So, two bronze is a silver. Or four bronze is a gold. I need 200 gold. And if I have two... Yeah, I have enough. Uh, let's see, we have Relic Hunter Fighter. We have a Relic Hunter Archer. An Alchemist and Entertainer. That's all they've got. 
I think the first one we're gonna take, and and this is the cheapest one. I think the first one we're gonna take is gonna take the relic hunter hunter fighter. Purchase successful. We still have forty three gold left. Yeah, and they're not out. Now, what I don't know is is this it's only a fighter it's a stygian fighter that is not a relic hunter i got gypped <laughs> hey hey i want my money back man relic hunter fighters are named hello uh this is why guys this is why well definitely oh you know what we're gonna we're gonna go to we're gonna go to marun that's what we're gonna do i think we can go there for free let's find out you're back Again. Can I travel to Marun for free? I can. May the wind guide you. Well, that did not sound good. Hopefully I'm still alive. <laughs> okay, we are alive. Um She sells food. That's all we got. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do, the reason we came here is we're gonna run down here. And we know there's a human right there and some more gold. Um I am going to put this here. Okay. And we're gonna be fancy about how we're about to, what we're about to do. There's iron here, guys. Well, we're gonna take advantage of this. If I can get this. We got the coal too, we're running a little low on coal. And we've got a pet that can carry stuff. This is amazing. Okay, we're in good shape. Maybe even a little bit of rock too. I don't have I don't have a full pick, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to get as much as we could, but we get something. I don't want to break my pick. I want to almost break my pick. Alright, that's that's pretty good. So, oh look, there's humans there. Um, here's what we're going to do. <laughs> let me get out of this. Let me get off this hill in a safe place. Well, there isn't really a safe place now, is there? <sighs> Trying to avoid the highness. I don't want my dog to attack anything yet. I don't want my dog to attack anything yet. Oh well, so much for that. God will have your soul. And there's a level. And there's a level. Did you level? Oh, you didn't actually level. They're not worth enough. That was beneficial. Okay, that works. That works. All right, let's get some of this. Take the silver piece. I'll take all that too. Okay, now you get human flesh. Now you can kill things as much as you like. You're you're fine, right? You're not even hurt, right? Yeah, you're not. You're, you're barely hurt, if anything. Let's go kill all these guys. Yog, what was that? Okay, you ready? We just gonna talk to him. Okay, kill him. Hey, we leveled. Too bad we can't get food and get extra bonuses. That would be nice. I want to get my journey step. Hello. Got it. Oh, you're dead. And we will follow dude down. Oh no, follow the body. I don't know. This is going to work. Don't ask me what's going on. Apparently he can jump when he's dead. From a laying down position. With no arms. We got nothing. I don't know what we're dealing with here. What are we dealing with? An armor too. Not anymore. And we got more meat. Yeah, we're back. We're in a bit of a combat here. 
uh, Sigrid is taking on this 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 one skull uh, one skull uh, crocodile. That hurt. Yeah, that really hurt. Just trying to do that again. I think she's gonna win, but she's taking a beating. And there's a level. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Fortunately, I wasn't recording when the battle started. I was running back, and then um, I got attacked by this. And I'm like, well, we're probably going to kill this, so let us just see what happens. And there you go. So we caught the tail end of that. Pretty nice. All right. We're almost home. Let's do it. And Sigurd got another level. Got some health that time. That's good. That's good. Health is good. Gotta try to get her around 5k health if I want to be taking on some of the some of the three skull bosses, some of the world bosses. All right, so we're back. All we really want to know, right, is how yeah, the bandage. Okay, let's do that. And then we're gonna check out our thrall. We got a uh, we got a a a tier two thrall for 800 bronze pieces. Kind of feel like I got robbed. All right, give me your stuff. So this is there. All right, let's put our th thrall out here. It is a female thrall. Uh, let's look and see stats. 2200 health. That's not horrible for a tier two. Um, and let's see what else you got going on here. You have 45 for strength and a 65 vitality. The 65 vitality is good. 45 for strength is not. But, you know what? She should have a decent amount of health. Yep. Okay, guys. Well, that does it for today. I hope that you enjoyed our... Uh, oh, hello, Sigrid. I hope you enjoyed our uh, episode 4 of our Savage Wilds map playthrough. Um, just a reminder, if you liked what you saw, hit that like button below. And also subscribe so that you can be notified of future videos. And also, don't forget, I, st I stream six days a week. You guys have a great week, and we will see you next time here on Savage Wilds. Insane in the brain. Yeah.